Hi friends, as promised, uh, I'll be showcasing to you another variety of the meta-analysis technique uh, which is quite useful and this is again which uh, majority of the research scholars keep asking us that rather than doing in-depth study with 5000 papers or 10,000 papers, can we just restrict ourselves with just 10, 15, 20, 25, 50? maximum I should say and then proceed further and my answer is yes there are uh, papers which have been written in those areas also number one and it's the popular way of writing a paper um, and here it is uh, not called as the quantitative literature reviews in fact they are called as beta analytic summaries so you see we are going to give the summary or we are going to summarize what has been said now remember one thing meta analysis is always done when you want to know what is the prior research it's not the research that you want to do you are trying to find out as to what the um, previous researchers or the authors have to say or comment or they have uh, discovered or investigated to in their own papers so that is what we are going to think about it now in meta-analytic summaries you will see that this is again in the primary research papers we pick up uh, let's say 15 20 25 30 papers and we are just going to summarize it and understand as to what are the variables number one what kind of um, you know relationship exists between those variables whether it is a quantitative work or a qualitative work you know and uh, what was the result over there whether a uh, technique was used um, in um, quantitative manner or qualitative manner and then proceed further to see how well these the results would be useful for us so that is exactly uh, what the meta analytic summaries does it for us now uh, that's number one number two here you will even see that um, this particular method is used uh, wherein we get the information okay supporting a specific theoretical statement or i would say even i will even proceed further and say your model now uh, you know you read few papers and you say okay here this is my model which <coughs> You know which i have derived it um uh, after reading so many papers now fine okay so what am i going to do i'm first going to uh, read each and every paper number one then find out what are the variables and what kind of a relationship has been established between these variables okay i'm not going to find out any gaps remember that here we i'm not doing any gap work i'm just focusing only on the uh, variables that has been in that were investigated by that particular research or the author i should say or the expert of that particular area and see the relationship exists between those variables or there is no relationship that also is something that i'm supposed to understand after that you know and then i'll see after whether that particular information which has been given is it uh, really going to be useful for me or not okay that's my second usually about the overall strength that is again that i have to find out what does that mean it means that i have to see what is the strength between these variables and whether these variables are themselves going to be helpful for my own research work okay and then uh, so what am i going to do number one research summaries i have done i have taken care of the uh, variables then i'm seeing what is the theoretical statement whether these variables are pointing it out certain information for me some pattern some association is present for me or not after that i'm going to see whether there is some kind of a strength or in other words the power that i can see that yes this is something which i'm looking forward or something which is quite new i don't know what we are going to identify you need to identify that particular uh, powerful pattern all by user and that's why i'm using those words right now and then you will see is it consistent 
or is it that okay and that time it was like this now for example uh, when i was doing one of the capstone project i saw that yes some of the real estate industries which were there 99acres.com you can pick it up um, then you have got common roof you now makan.com uh, i mean once we saw and we were able to see that makan.com which was a very old um, i should say reputed brand property a uh, real estate company was in a loss negative uh, witty and that also not just few crores it was in negative minus 23 crores i'm talking about so you know then that particular company had to be helped out in order uh, in terms of the real estate now how do we do we identified first of all what is the error number 1 number 2 why those errors were present okay number 3 then we identified what are those variables which were responsible for not now once we have seen error was calculated to find out what it is what it is not then we established to see further strength the power which was there due to those variables and then we said see now the pattern has been in, uh, understood i have this particular model we derived after adding the new variable we saw the richness the power of that particular model with presence of those i'm not talking about in terms of slope or intercepts right now i'm talking about only the variables present in that particular model of mine and then i showcase that see now i've been able to reduce now that is the power i'm talking about i'm talking about the strength wherein you are able to identify and then you will proceed further with the calculation and the, after the consistency you have maintained it it's not just a rocket sign okay now here let's go from minus 23 i'm jumping directly to so much of profit no i'm not talking about that i want a consistent kind of improvement in the uh, output that i was trying to uh, achieve myself and then um, you know it helps me out so these are the things that we need to focus specially when i'm talking about meta analytic summaries okay now uh, you see verbally i'm talking it becomes very easy however once you have those uh, quantitative terms in front of you i'm talking about the calculations it gives you more uh, authentic or uh, genuity in your calculations as well as towards your own research also now then what happens i uh, once we proceed further we will calculate okay the summary the, that is present through the numbers that are present and then we go ahead and we say that okay see we have done and this is what so till now usually what happens if you are not performing the meta analysis you just doing the literature review you have simply identified this is the author the paper was published in so and so year and uh, you know these were the total number of uh, variables which were present quantitative or qualitative paper this is the gap this is it and then you proceed further however with the help of the meta analysis you're not just stopping itself over there with the tradition i would say that is the traditional literature review you have moved ahead you have showcased you have shown that yes see this is the the strength of my model what i'm talking about this is the relationship this is the effect that has got and now i'm going to prove what i want to showcase it now that's the importance of doing meta analysis whether you do quantitative literature review or you're going to do with the meta analytic summaries choices yours whichever you want to do if you uh, my suggestion is that yes if you have got time of let's say 3 to 4 months okay for a seminar or a conference go ahead with the meta analytic summaries it is really helpful because uh, at least you are able to identify derive certain number of variable and later on you know slowly as you are um, going ahead with your own uh, analysis further and further prepare your own gray literature through these meta analytic summaries one after the other and then you will see after a year you yourself have um, uh, collected a good number of papers and you can proceed further with what i call it as the quantitative literature review which might be a long term project for you and then you can proceed further with the um, uh, scopus publication for yourself in that way so uh, i think i have given you enough of information right now with respect to the varieties of meta analysis that we have got now the question arises can i do just one meta uh, one research paper and then 
then proceed further with my model and strain now the question arises read that particular paper properly if the writer has already um, conducted the meta analysis of let's say minimum of 100 papers okay proceed further with the single paper then there is no problem in case the person has not that look carefully as to how the person has performed the meta-analysis don't just jump over and go maybe in his paper he has picked up only 15 papers or 16 papers or 20 papers read what those 20 papers are telling to you how much of work has been done if it has already so repeating those literature again is a wastage of time and that's why they are too smart and they say okay i'm just picking up with only 15 to 20 papers also so i think uh, in that way you should be smart enough and uh, carry forward with your own work also side by side given these uh, introduction with respect to the uh, types of meta analysis let me proceed further and we can see and one more thing that I wanted to tell you that it's not just with the research uh, papers you know, remember it's not just the quantitative risk meta-analysis you can even if you want you can go ahead with the qualitative literature review where the focus is only exclusively on the qualitative papers and very good qualitative papers are also present and a variety of them are there for example you can look up the papers focusing exclusively on website analysis, on image analysis, maybe audio analysis they are doing, narrative analysis, discourse is there. Uh, then you have got this ethnographic ground focus group is also there then um, you know ethnography as I told you then there are others also which they have done which I'll be showcasing to you the list completely and if I'm not wrong they are around um, as I keep saying more than 200 of them are there so you it's up to you how you want to proceed further how which attracts you uh, further like for example I love narrative analysis I like discourse analysis i like the interview analysis which they do which we call it as a focus group uh, i even like phenomenological now phenomenological i'm not talking about the uh, husserl or the post structuralist i'm talking about more from the kant or uh, hegelian kind of a thing or maybe even from the indian perspective they were also quite good uh, in presenting the analysis and we will see uh, especially uh, if they are into uh, case studies especially you you know you can write very good case studies uh, from uh, certain uh, things which are present conceptual papers and that's a very good qualitative paper for yourself also so we will see more uh, as uh, i'll proceed further and then i will talk more and more about it till then thanks and take care bye